Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Lecture 63, we have been discussing about potential due to a body of arbitrary shape. So, we will continue with that. So, if you remember that uh, in the last lecture, we were uh, deriving this expression for the potential. So, uh, in that case, we have uh, got this expression. This expression we have got for the potential up to the second degree. Okay, and if, if we and the same equation I have written here in this place. Okay, minus gm minus g. This is the second term, and the third term I have expanded, and uh, it has been written here in this format. Okay, so this three by two also we can take it outside here in this place rather than placing inside, and this we have to integrate to get in a simple format. Moreover, the function the legend polynomial that we have written here in this place. So, uh, this legend polynomial for few of them I have listed here. So, P L cos phi this is a legend polynomial. So, cos phi I have replaced in terms of gamma and then this can be written like this P 0 gamma equal to 1 P 1 gamma. Okay. So, the, this way if you know this series, so directly you can insert and uh, you can get this expansion. So, you can do it for, suppose you know for 100 terms, you know this expansion. Okay. This kind of series, this series is available till 100 terms. So, you can just if, uh, need to insert here in this place and you will get 100 terms and thereafter you need to integrate of course. So, our main objective is to work with this not with this. Okay. This already we have used it and using this we have got this term or uh, either directly by expanding also we have got this term. Okay. Now, we need to estimate each of them. So, this quantity directly you can see that this is nothing but minus g r and inside it is only m. So, we replace it with uh, this is only d m. So, we replace it by m. So, here we get is uh, and moreover, uh, because we are carrying out the expansion, uh, finding the potential due to a body which is whose mass I am representing by m. So, it will be prudent that we show it by d m rather than showing by a small m. So, that the confusion does not arise. This is not for the small mass, this is for the bigger one m is located here okay, and this is of mass m. Now, estimate all these quantities. So, first quantity is okay, already it is done. The second quantity this will be the integration, this quantity will be equal to 0, this we have to show, and these two quantities we need to work out. Okay, so, we take the next quantity, so rho cos theta dm this quantity is 0 and what the cos theta perhaps it was phi, we have used the notation phi not theta. So, we will keep it phi, this is phi, this is phi. Okay. So, this angle is phi and here this is rho and in this place you have this is r and this vector we have written as p. And in the coordinate system we have chosen, say this coordinate we write as x, y, z and this coordinate we write as xi. eta and zeta.
so then we have rho dot r equal to rho r cos phi and this quantity will be then given by and of course, here you have the unit vector i cap, j cap, k cap or any other notation you can choose for unit vector. So, this is rho times r Does it? insert this here. So, this becomes rho cos phi is j x plus eta y plus zeta z d m divided by rho r. So, rho 1 by r we can take outside rho rho cancels out. So, this quantity then this becomes equal to j x plus eta y zeta z d m and then this we can expand as see the r is not dependent on the integration is over the body ok and for the body the coordinates we are using this. So, this will only remain inside the integration sign this is what we are getting here. Now, if the origin coincides with the center of mass, then xi d m this quantity will be equal to 0. This is the basic definition for the uh, your center of mass, the location of the x location, y location, z location of the center of mass. So, because the origin is located there itself, so that is bound to be 0 and therefore, this quantity will be 0. Similarly, you have eta d m this quantity will be equal to 0 and zeta d m this quantity will also be equal to 0. So, therefore, this quantity vanishes which I have already written here in this place. So, the second term it vanishes then remains these two terms to be worked out. So, we have to work out now. So, u then we are getting as minus g m divided by r minus 3 by 2 g by r cube rho a square cos a square phi d m plus g by 2 r cube rho a square d m. So, for convenience we copy it onto the 
next page. Minus G M by R and then minus 3 by 2 G R Q minus 3 by 2 G R Q and then we have rho a square cos a square d m rho a square cos a square phi d m and then plus g by 2 r q rho a square d m plus g by 2 r q rho a square d m. So, the next step we carry out by writing cos square phi is minus sin square phi d m plus g by 2 r q rho a square d m and this becomes plus 3 by 2 we do little at the rearrangement Two two will cancel out once we subtract it. So we get here G by R Q and rho a square D M plus three by two okay, so this is U. Now, we look into what these quantities are. Or uh, let us maintain this quantity 2 here and write 2 here in this place. we have then g equal to u equal to minus g m by r and then the quantity which is written here the second term minus g by 2 r q and 2 rho square and what this rho is this is 2 times xi square plus eta square plus zeta square. So, 2 times xi square eta square plus zeta square d m and then the plus 3 by 2 g r q g by r q and then the quantity which is written here rho sin phi whole square d m. Now, what this quantity is? 
let us say this is the first term we have written and this is the second term and this is the third term we are having. So, second term we are working with 2 xi square plus zeta square this quantity we can write as Now, you have the body here and this is the x axis, y axis, z axis and the coordinates for the body we have just used any point in this the xi is eta and zeta we have indicated. So, xi is along this direction, eta is along this direction and zeta is along this direction. So, xi square plus eta square here we are taking xi in this direction we are taking eta and zeta we are taking along this direction. So, xi square plus eta square okay, times d m. This gives you moment of inertia about the z axis. So, either you can refer to the book by Beer Johnston mechanics or the Irving Semps or either you can look into, look into the lecture uh, on the satellite attitude dynamics and controls uh, given by me. So, in that lecture you will find all these details. So, this quantity is i z z plus i y y plus i x x the same way this is eta and zeta. So, eta and zeta is involved like this. So, this is the moment of inertia about the x axis. And what this quantity is? So now we again draw the figure. We took point Q to be here, and we took point P to be in this place. We need to make a better figure. point P is here, point Q is here, this is your P vector, here this is the R vector and this is the rho vector, this angle we have taken as phi. So, this perpendicular distance from here to here, this is nothing but rho sin phi. So, the quantity we are, this term we are looking into so, this term then gets reduced to rho sin phi whole square d m. This is nothing but this perpendicular distance square times d m and this we have to integrate. So, this gives you moment of inertia about this axis which is the axis O p. So, this is the this term is moment of inertia about the O p which we write as I r. So, I r is the moment of inertia about O p. Okay, therefore, the expression u this gets this will get reduced to u equal to minus g m by r. minus g by 2 r cube 2 r cube and then times i x x plus i y y plus i z z. In many places this is written as a b and c. 
instead of writing i x x i y y i z z this is just written as a b c and the next term is 3 by 2 g r cube plus 3 by 2 g by r cube i f. So, this is the form we are getting here and sometimes uh, this is also expressed writing it as 2 i 0 minus 3 i r where i 0 equal to i x x plus i y y plus i z z. One important point I would like to point out here. that if you are finding potential at any point, so at any instant of time your reference frame has to be attached to the body. Okay. So, in the case of the earth this frame that we use this is called the ITRF according to the recent notations this is called the international terrestrial reference frame. So, here x y z this is referring to your ITRF and this rotates along with the earth. Okay. It is a fixed inside the earth and it rotates along with the earth. This is not inertial frame. Here while we have we have been working if we write the equation of motion okay, that we do in the inertial frame. But the potential once we are describing we can do it using the frame which is attached to the body and uh, uh, moving along with that. Because in that case uh, describing the moment of inertia uh, that moment of inertia term we are we have derived here it becomes easy. If the frame is fixed okay, in orientation as in the case of the inertial frame and the body is rotating. So, sometimes body is like this other time body has gone here in this place. Okay. So, you can see that all these terms then will be variable they will be a function of time and it will be difficult to treat in a general way this particular expression and therefore, this frame is attached to this and then this is worked out. So, at a particular instant of time the potential we have got. Okay, thus, we have uh, got this equation u equal to we will copy it on the next page u equal to minus g m by r minus g by 2 r q i x x plus i y y plus i z z minus 3 i r. Now, this will serve for working out our problem. So, here we are using the notation u, but uh, if we remember that if the body is perfectly spherical, so in that case potential at a point this is given by minus g m by r. And how we can see we can directly see from this place in the case in the case body is perfectly spherical which is not the case in in the earth uh, in the case of earth in the case body is perfectly spherical the 
then i x x equal to i y y equal to i z z this equal to i and i r also in that case it becomes equal to i because moment of inertia along any axis you take it will be the same. Okay, so, therefore, i r will be equal to i and of course, the i x x this is x y and z about the x y and z axis also this will be the same. Okay. Therefore, this gets reduced to minus g m divided by r minus g by 2 r cube and 3 i minus 3 i. So, the other term vanishes and we get u equal to minus g m by r which is also due to a point mass. So, in the case of a perfectly spherical body, it is acting the potential due to this at a point it is acting just like this is a the whole mass is concentrated about the origin or the point O which here in this case we have taken as the center of mass. So, that implies that the u we are writing here this consists of two terms minus g m by r and the other term. So, instead of writing this as u we write suppose instead of you writing this as u we write this as u prime and this quantity we write as u. Okay, so, you can immediately see that u prime this will be equal to minus u minus r where r equal to or simply if, uh, we write here plus because the notation we are using here is a u equal to minus g m by this quantity is minus g m by r and this quantity then we write as r equal to minus g by 2 r cube i x x plus i y y plus i z z minus 3 r. So, this acts this particular part this is acting like a perturbation potential, perturbation potential if body is not perfectly sphere, spherical. So, therefore, we will use the common notation instead of writing here uh, what we have written the m r double dot minus del u plus r and this quantity is and this quantity then appears as g m by r cube g by 2 r cube g by 2 r cube m is not there and then i x x plus i y y plus i z z minus 3 i y. Okay, not this side, this is with del operator. So, we should remove this, this is only part we write simply as u plus r. So, this quantity is your u and this quantity is r. We have changed the notation. Okay. So, this we are writing as this whole thing we are writing as u prime. Instead of writing u, we are writing as u prime. Therefore, it becomes uh, easier for us to use the earlier notation. And this perturbation potential R V R which is written as integration sign already we have integrated. So, this is not present let me check integration sign already removed. So, this is minus g 2 by R cube i x x plus i y y plus i z z minus 3 i r and this perturbation potential will be used in the, the equation for the Langrange.
planetary equation and it can be solved to yield the result we are looking for. Okay, so, we will stop this lecture here and continue in the next lecture. Thank you very much.